some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I have been working on an hour-long video for a different game for nearly three months. In order to prevent burnout, I decided to play Payday 2 on my own accord for some time and go back to the project. I asked Predomo Sam to host, and they hosted Henry's Rock. Considering I play so little Payday 2 nowadays to the point that I only have a single crash log from 2023, I didn't get very far. My builds are usually very strong, but they still require some level of brain power to use. After the crushing realization that I fell off, I decided to make a build that was just flat out overpowered and requires very little brain activation if I struggle that much again. Considering there are several brain dead weapons and perks, I have to get ruthless. It had to be really easy to use and as convenient as possible. Nothing in the build can have any drawbacks, no waiting for reloading, no range issues caused by the best and most thought out mechanic ever put into a video game, very little DLC, and next to no concern for aiming or ammo management. So strap in as I walk you through my thought process of making the most overpowered build ever made. The choice of deck is a simple endeavor. Lee Hacker. We're gonna use Hacker. But wait a minute, isn't Leech low effort and brain dead? The answer is yes, but let me justify my choice. Leech has that stupid self-revive, true, but in an attempt to balance the deck, Starbreeze nerfed and neutered the good aspects of the deck instead of removing the self-revive and being done with it. This causes several intended and unintended issues with the deck. Back when it got released, the ampule effect was stupid strong, so you didn't even go down with the deck in the first place. But now, you heal your teammates less, you lose more chunks, and the ampule cooldown is 40 seconds. So you get to benefit from the actual good parts of the deck less, and rely more on the self-revive part. Since on DSOD you can only go down twice, a part of what makes a good build is to reduce the amount of downs you have to go through to finish a heist. And since the leech nerfs actively encourage you to go down, even outright killing you due to a bug, it stops being a good option to be truly brainless while achieving good survivability. So that's where Hacker comes into the frame. Plus, with Leech, you take damage, and there's a way to not take damage in this game at all. Taking damage is annoying, so I want to use a friend of mine's quote, just dodge Lamau. Hacker gives you rechargeable stun. Two of them, in fact. It gives HP regen, health, and most importantly, too much dodge. Hacker on its own can survive just about any bullshit. But combine that with Bullseye and the weapon I'm about to show, every heist becomes too easy. Weapon choice was the hardest part. There are several brain dead options, so let's go through them one by one. Basilisk with the exclusive set lets you stun lock most of the map and has good ammo pickup. But it doesn't reload fast and projectiles are not reliable enough when playing as client. To get hits further, you have to aim upwards and you know what, that's just too much effort. Plus it's tied to a late piece of DLC which are slightly more expensive than legacy stuff, so no. As overpowered as this thing is, it's not overpowered enough. Commando is a good option, but there's a problem with that too. Projectile jank for client side is still a thing, and I would have to make use of ammo bags to be brain dead. There are several maps where using ammo bags to run Commando isn't all that viable, and if the build doesn't work in every conceivable situation, then it doesn't deserve to be called the best build ever made. So I come back to this underused piece of shit again. No, this one. The tombstone is entirely free and is better than the old Dragon's Breath. They introduced this ammo type in the same update that nerfed Dragon's Breath 2. Good job guys, way to balance the game. Tombstone deals fuck tons of damage per shot, on top of stunning every enemy besides a dozer. Combine that with a high ammo pickup, easy to use, high mag capacity weapon, and you got yourself a perfect gun that fits the requirements. Easy to use, no range problem, no ammo upkeep, fast reloads, no aim requirement, no effort, all effect. There is only one issue with it, it can't gill dozers. Do we give up? No, we just do it better. You have a second weapon slot, so <laughs> we can bring another dumb shit to specially counter them. But a bing but a boom, here's the akimbo SMGs. They kill dozers, the end. So yeah, here's the most overpowered build ever made. Spam the tombstone grim, press your grenade button, heal, survive, stun lock the entire map, run around. If you die, you still have Fain Death and Messiah to completely sidestep the very concept of mistakes. Make every good player rage quit out of boredom, and remember to rub your gamer skills into everyone's face, cause your build is superior. Grab your DSOD mask and never touch the game again. Thank you so much for watching, and huge thanks to Care for the voiceover. My niece is usually around and children make noise, so I couldn't get the voiceover for this one. A huge thanks to the current dev team for making the game worse, and ruining everyone's goodwill, and you, the viewer, I'm glad you're here. Stay safe folks, have a good one, and pray to whatever god you believe in for the Starbreeze staff to learn from their gargantuan fuckups.